guys welcome to touring with tasha we're still in the covid season and we're semi quarantined here as you can see a very clear beach behind us our beaches are still very much closed but we are allowed to come out into the public we're heading to tree pools and blanche shares so this is supposed to be about a 20 minute hike a rating of two out of five in difficulty level so we're going to tree pools and i'm gonna take you guys along come tag along so behind me is Maracas Bay for those of you that don't know. So guys, we are the beginning of the hike. It took us three hours to get here from San Fernando driving. Of course, we made one or two five minute stops, but it, on average, it takes about three hours to get here from South, maybe about two hours or two and a half hours from the airport. So if you're planning to do this hike, no, it's a pretty kind of long drive, but it's a nice scenic drive. So it's enjoyable. You didn't really feel it. So guys, it's called a spring bridge because it's springy and it's moving. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while it's driving, you will come to this point, either you make a left and you go that way to the spring bridge or you go straight, which is basically a dead end. Normally people would park inside of there. It's a bit dangerous when it comes to car hijacking and break-ins and stuff while you're hiking. So we parked here, which is a bit more open. So now we're going to walk from there and I'm just going to show you the starting point. So this is where people would normally park and start the hike here. So there's pretty much a clear trail where you just walk on the path. It's been dry season, so it's pretty much dry. I'm seeing car tires down there, so maybe people can drive in, but we are not aware of the area, hence we will not go further. So guys, it took us about 20 minutes to get to the first pool, walking. Now we are approaching that second pool. As soon as we arrived at the second pool, within the space of 5 minutes, we had so many accidents, near drowning, etc. In 2017, Mr. Dennis Lala lost his son, Devant Lala, to drowning. After this incident, he placed these signs along the pathway towards the pools and also placed live buoys attached to these posts. As soon as we arrived, which is unusual for me, I put on my life jacket and I got into the water. We had a very good swimmer. He got into the water together with me. As we were swimming right here in one of these deep pools, he got into difficulty. He felt as though something was pulling him underwater and he held on to me because I was wearing my life jacket. Due to his weight pulling me down as well, both of us ended up in difficulties where we started to intake water. Another hiker threw that life buoy for us and it did save our lives. We are a group of Christian youth, hence we do not consume alcohol. If you are consuming alcohol, please do that at home so that you can have a sound mind in case you end up in a situation like us. So the hike is relatively easy. So if you're coming here with kids, please be mindful if you can walk with life jackets. It's a plus because some of the pools are very deep, up to 20 feet in depth. So please be careful if you're coming here. Tree pools is amazing. It's perfect for swimming, but please, I am begging, be careful. So we're out and we'll see you guys on another hike. Thank you for tagging along and please do join us. And don't forget to share and subscribe and get your friends to share and subscribe Touring with Tasha. And also like us on Instagram and follow for cool, cool content. Love you guys. Bye. I am also the owner of Victuals Organics and Dessert Catering on Facebook. Please like my page to see what I have to offer you, the taste that you desire.